Okay guys, so today I'm going to be reacting to the new Billie Eilish song, Everything I Wanted. Now, I want to be perfectly honest. I wasn't really much of a fan of hers, mainly because uh, that song, Bad Boy, that she has really was really overplayed. And it just wasn't my thing. It just wasn't my cup of tea on that particular song. But I saw this song and I heard it and this is actually up my alley. I, I really, really like this song. So let's just play through it. And uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I, I really like about it. I love the intro. Um, it's a really nice choice of piano. Now, you don't really, you don't normally hear that kind of a piano sound. It's really, really compressed. It's a really compressed sound and distorted. And it's got this monotonous kind of tone and build up to it. And I think it works really nice. It doesn't have a lot of high end going on, but that just makes her voice uh, stand out a little more. Now, I like the way the voice is mixed. It is very raw and upfront sounding, but there's still reverb on there. I can, I can tell there's a little bit of chorus on there and there's a little bit of reverb just to kind of widen that voice. And I like what they did at the end of uh, those first few syllables. Right at the end, they, they automated in, in music production, they send it through an effects and it's been sent through a bigger reverb. Uh, like a bigger hall type sound and that's really nice and I, I like the the choice of hall that they used uh, you can tell that they rolled off a lot of the EQ on the end and uh, it works really well with this song it's a nice build up uh, it's still very raw uh, the kick is very, uh, it's not too pronounced, but it's its there and it, you can feel that bass nicely. Uh, there's, there's a nice build up so far, I like that. It's a nice, uh, it's got a, a little clap going on with a, like a slap back delay on it, that, that's kind of cool. Oh, I, and I, I didn't notice those background vocals before, they're, they're being auto pan uh, left to right, that's, that's kind of cool too. And I like the background vocals, they're, they have more effects in the lead vocals, which makes the lead vocals stand out more. Uh, and there's not too many, uh, I found a lot of new tracks, people just... They really, really stack the background vocals a lot. It was like, you know, 20 tracks sometimes, and sometimes it's too much. This, you could just tell, she, she basically, they doubled her voice, and they spread it left to right, and I think that works for this. It's, it's still very subtle. I really like the way that the, the vocals are sitting in the chorus. Uh, you can tell there's a little bit more reverb. It's kind of, it sounds like a spacey plate reverb on there. And I can kind of tell that they brought up the reverb on the clap as well. It's, it's very subtle, but it's, it's more pronounced than when the, the clap first came in, in the verses. And I like the choice of uh, having some male backup vocals on there as well. 
I think that's a nice, you know, it just adds to the whole texture of her voice. Overall, it's a very cool track. I mean, it's very haunting. Uh, there's very deep lyrics in there. But uh, I like it. I mean, um, this is, like I said, it's more of my alley, my personal taste. Um, but I gotta respect that, you know, whatever she does, it's different. It's pretty groundbreaking. And, you know, it's, it's not following the, the typical pop song standard that we're, we're kind of used to in top 40 radio. So, you know, hats off to her. But yeah, it's a very cool track. Well, let's just forward a little. That's, that's kind of cool. Uh, the part before, they actually use this uh, really cool effect that it makes it sound like it's underwater. And you can tell her voice there before it goes into that weird effect. It's, there's nothing on it. There's it's very raw, very upfront, uh, hardly any effect, and it just it portrays, you know, the lyrics on that section. I think that's really cool. So uh, that's it. Um, like I said, I, I like the track from a production standpoint. I like the fact that it's very raw. There's not a lot going on. And I like that because, you know, with today's technology, with recording software, a lot of people just, they want to start stacking songs with layers and layers of synthesizers and guitars. And sometimes it's just too much. And what people don't realize is when you put a lot of stuff, it's very distracting. And I personally feel, you know, in most tracks, you really want to focus on the voice. And the more sparse a song is, you can really focus on the voice more and listen to the lyrics and connect with the song. And I think with this particular song, with everything I wanted, I think that was, that was conveyed. And my hat's off to her. That, that was great.